Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to do a dip powder fill. So I'm starting off by cleaning my friend's nails with some rubbing alcohol solution. Then I'm just demonstrating that you can actually remove the dip powder by using a coarse file. It is possible, but it's a lot faster to use a Dremel or a nail drill. I got my Dremel for, I think, $60 American, so you can get one that's pretty affordable and they really help as a time saver. So I'm just buffing off the, the previous color and taking off any lifting from the sides. I'm also taking off a bit of length from her nails because she wants them to be a bit shorter. Then I'm going in with a coarse nail file and just reshaping the nails, making sure that they're nice and square. Then I'm going in with a cuticle pusher and I'm just pushing back her cuticles and going back in with my Dremel, but this time I'm using a fine sanding band because I want it to be really gentle on her natural nails. And now I'm just going in with this tool not entirely sure what it's called but it's a rounded bit and I just go around the cuticle really gently and take off any excess skin or um, areas where the nail has lifted a little bit on the side so I went in with my prep liquid step one and I also went in with my base gel two and did one coat of clear Kiara Sky dip powder so you didn't get to see that I'm sorry for that and then I'm just going in with my gel 2 and dipping two times with white dip powder because that's the color she went for. Just dusting off also with a old makeup brush in between the layers. And then I'm going in with my activation liquid, which is the step 3 to solidify the nail. Going back in with a coarse file and just making sure that those nails are perfectly shaped. And I'm just going in with my Dremel and smoothing out any of the rough, rough edges and making sure that the shape is nice. And then I'm taking my white buffing block and making sure that the nails are really smooth. And then this step is optional, but I'm going in with some rhinestones and some shellac just to add an accent detail on her ring finger. And there you go, there's the finished product. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe if you like my videos, and I will see you next time.